on PHLV, we have uh, the sales manager of uh, Palm Mortuary and uh, Funeral Services, Adam Selesny, right here at, stu at the studio. Welcome to the radio program, Adam. Thank you very much. Good morning. Also with us is uh, Manny Molion, pre-planning uh, advisor under the uh, under Adam uh, here at uh, Palm Mortuary. Good morning, Manny. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Joan. <laughs> Thank you for being here. So, so uh, Palm Mortuary, it's 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 been a, it's been around for a long time, yes. and uh, it's uh, with the SEI. Tell us more about SEI. Okay, so Palm Mortuaries and Cemeteries started actually in 1926 here in Las Vegas, before Bugsy, before only 21 years after Palm became, or Las Vegas became a town even. And so we've been in this community a long, long time and uh, operated for a long time under Palm Mortuaries and Cemeteries. And then in 1962, we were purchased by a larger, a larger company called Service Corporation International. And that company is in 48 states in the United States, as well as in Canada. We're even in Hawaii and Puerto Rico. So mm -hmm. we uh, take care of people across the country with 2,400 plus locations in almost all those states. Wow. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's a lot of uh, presence everywhere. That is correct. We are the only nationwide and international funeral and cemetery company in the world, and we make sure that people are taken care of. Yep. Well, thank you for doing what you're doing, guys. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. How long have you been with the company, Adam? I personally have been with the company just about four years now mm -hmm. and started off in uh, my career in sales mm -hmm. and have just grown into this being my mission. Mm -hmm. My mission is to help people to be mm -hmm. prepared by pre-planning. Right, so and the so. customers of, uh, of uh, Palm uh, Mortuary, of SCI in general, they're in good hands. That is correct, and you know, we have people who've worked for this company for 40 years plus. The experience that we have in taking care of families is unparalleled and unprecedented in this marketplace. It's part of why we have 70% yeah. of all services go through our company for either cremation or traditional casketed burials. And uh, I see the families growing Manny here has joined the uh, uh, the group uh, fairly uh, recently. Manny, yes, uh, I joined the groups uh, June 25. So this is my practically second month with uh, Palm. Well, welcome to Palm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the products and services of uh, Palm uh, Mortuary and you know, funeral services. So uh, it, it's it's pretty self-explanatory for you know people, our listeners right now, what you guys are offering. But uh, tell us what you offer, Adam. Sure. So we have five cemetery locations here in the greater Las Vegas area and in Henderson. We have one out at Boulder Highway. We have one on Eastern, one in our northwest section of town, one downtown, and one actually in Boulder. Older city. Mm -hmm. We also work quite a bit with the Veterans Administration to take care of veterans in Boulder City at our state cemetery there. In addition, we have a number of standalone funeral homes. And in those funeral homes, which are also known as mortuaries or interactive terms, we um, take care of people uh, who do not necessarily want to have a final resting place, but we can also assist them with cremations and other services there to make sure that lives are celebrated, mm -hmm. that it doesn't have to be a difficult, terrible time, mm -hmm. that it can be a celebration of that person who is your loved one. And that's very, very important to us. Mm -hmm. Great, great. And, and you mentioned uh, a palm being present in, in many, many states here, uh, here in the United States and uh, internationally as well. So if somebody would say, uh, somebody in California, for example, they have a, they have a space, they have a cemetery space in California. Mm -hmm. What if they want to avail of uh, the burial service, for example, in Las Vegas? Is that something possible? Like a network of uh, absolutely and thank you for asking the question that, uh, that about that because that's important and all of our services and all of our cemetery spaces are fully transferable between any of our locations not just here in the United States but also in Canada where we do have locations as well so let's say somebody um, decides they don't want to live anymore in Las Vegas they want to move to California or they live in California and want to move here and this is where they want right. their final resting place right we can take that existing space or that existing service bring it here, and it is locked in at their previous prices, so they don't have mm -hmm. to pay anything more when they move. Their plans go with them. And we're the only company wow. that can provide that in the entire country. Wonderful, wonderful, nice to know that. Yeah. And uh, speaking about moving, 
um, say, say uh, people internationally, say for example, all across the Pacific, say in the Philippines, for example, <laughs> and uh, you know, and uh, and 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 then uh, uh, your customer would like to to be reunited, you know, with their with their loved ones in the Philippines after they're passed on, for example, right? Yes. So can they avail of the services here in Las Vegas and that they be brought to uh, to uh, the Philippines, for example? Absolutely, they can, and we are actually experts in the Filipino community. Mm -hmm. We have. Um, both counselors who speak many, many dialects of Filipino, uh, right. Tagalog, right. Um, and we also uh, are experts because we work with the Filipino consulate very closely. We know what the international filing fees are, and we can have that be a part of a plan. We do what's called forwarding. So when someone passes, we will prepare everything for the family here, make sure that that person is placed onto an airplane and mm -hmm. gets to the Philippines so that they can go to their final resting place with a local funeral home in any island or any major area in the Philippines. Now, if it's a very rural or small area, obviously those things could be very expensive. However, right. we let you know all the costs up front and we make sure that it fits within a budget as well because people can't always afford a big, huge bill at yep. that time. Mm -hmm. So we help people to pre-plan and be able to make small monthly payments mm -hmm. to take care of all those needs at that time. And it's all locked in at the prices they start at, not when at they the start. future prices. Right, right, right. right. Mm -hmm. They're like grandfathered in into exactly. whatever the price will be many, many years after they started the plan. Yeah, and the plans wow. on average, both for cemetery and for funeral, double every seven to 10 years. Yep. So if something that, is $5,000 now, yeah, in seven to 10 years, it's going to be 10000 Seven to 10 years after that, it's going to be twenty, and so Correct. on and so on. But you got it at five for something that hopefully will cost a lot more down the road. So would you say that uh, people lock in their 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 plans right away? A lot of people do because they see the value. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like if you had known back in 1973 that you could buy gas for 90 cents a gallon right. for the rest of your life, you would have bought as much as you possibly could, <laughs> right? Because now it's like four or five, and in some parts of the world, $10 per gallon. Right. So it's the same kind of concept. Buy something at the price of today mm -hmm. that you're not going to use for a long time to come. Wow, 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 wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. And uh, it's it's uh, here in Las Vegas, uh, obviously it's a, it's a especially in the Filipino community. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to, you know, squeeze this in a little bit. Um, we do have a very very close-knit uh, family ties, yes. right? And uh, uh, this uh, services of yours being available is really very very important. Uh, yes. Me personally, I'm a plan holder, me and my mm -hmm. wife as okay. well. And it's one of the things that we uh, carefully considered with you guys. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's very important that um, you know, for some reason, we want to be reunited with our folks back in the Philippines. If if they're buried there, if they're there, and right. we want to be there forever with them. Absolutely, <laughs> and that's the thing. You know, what we really do is we help people to make their eternal plans. Mm -hmm. um, if people buy cemetery property here, they're buying permanent real estate. It's not a temporary home; right. it's a permanent home. Yeah, yeah. Well, well let, let's talk about uh, uh, you know some some people. Well, all all of us, me including. Mm -hmm. We put this thing off. We don't want to. Uh, <laughs> no one wants to talk no, about this. No Come one wants on, to talk about it. And uh, we uh, must us pay for it right. now. Right. So would you would you advise uh, people to you know thinking that hey, your your rates are going to be locked in and things like that that you would rather do the uh, uh, the pre need arrangements now rather than deal with it when the time comes. Yeah, and and what we've really talked about is all the financial reasons to do it, locking right. the costs now. Right. But the really the most important part to me and to our company is emotionally why you should do it. You're, all of what you want is taken care of when you pre-plan. It's mm -hmm. not left to mm -hmm. your kids or to your spouse to say, well, maybe you know, Johan would have wanted this or would have wanted that, or Adam would have wanted this or would have wanted that, but we don't know 100% for sure because he never yeah. told us ahead yeah. of time or she never told us. But if you plan ahead, you're taking that burden off of other people. Mm -hmm. Pre-planning is not for you, and mm -hmm. it's not for me, it's for those that are left behind. It's to make sure that as a um, responsible person, especially mm -hmm. as, as men, but you know, wives, everybody, right. you're taking care of those who are left behind. And if you care about other people, there's, that's the emotional reason mm -hmm. why it's important to pre-plan, to get what you want 
and to take that burden off of especially children. Right. It's our job as parents to take care of our kids, not their job to take care of us. Right. And so that's why we help people to pre-plan on the emotional side. How does this uh, tie in with advanced directives, for example? Um, you know, people um, uh, doing uh, written stuff, uh, what, what they want to be Uh, how they want to be treated after they passed on sure. um, legally and uh, how does this tie in do you have sure. to like uh, in your will or your advance directive do you have to put it in what you want or you, do you have that paperwork already in you so there's a couple of different questions you asked I'll address each one of them right. so advanced directives are usually in regards to medical decisions and advanced oh. directives are mm-hmm. for like powers of attorney to take care of all your finances after you've passed away right. it's the same thing that will or trust does will they or handle, trust yeah. they handle real estate um, possessions and financial terms when someone passes Any will or trust um, and any advanced directives are null and void. There mm-hmm. is a Nevada revised statutes in the state of Nevada that spells out the order of people who take care of arrangements for you. It starts mm-hmm. with your spouse, and then it's usually parents and or children, and then it goes like brothers and sisters, even cousins, uncles, and aunts who have an order of responsibility for taking care of your funeral arrangements. Right. So if someone passes, and I have six children, and all six of my children, if I didn't do a pre-plan, have to agree on what to do. And if you have a family like mine, and most of us do, even if you have two kids, you know there's going to be some headbutting at that exactly. time. And right. so, again, emotionally, that's part of why we're trying to avoid having that happen. We don't want people to have all of that discord. Mm-hmm. It should be a time where you are mourning. It mm-hmm. should be a time when you are taking care of each other, not fighting over who has to pay for things and right. who's going to, you know, did dad want the the metal casket or the wood casket? Right. Did grandma want, you know, to be cremated and then buried or cremated and then scattered at Disneyland? Right. You know, all those things. <laughs> Instead of deciding those after the fact, you can write them down with us and have a pre-plan in place mm-hmm. and it's all done. It's complete. The burden is off other people. It's taken care right. of. And I'll, that's what we do. Obviously, you do that uh, uh, hopefully way, way before that uh, eventual time happens. Yes. But what if you change your mind? Like you, you put in something, hey, I want to be cremated and something like that. Sure. And what if you change your mind uh, down the line? Can you change it? You absolutely can. Mm-hmm. So if you go from, let's say, a cremation mm-hmm. to a traditional casket of burial, right. then you would um, have to pay the difference at the time you changed your mind. That's okay. just normal. It's just like any other Business. thing where you change your mind, right? right? Now, if you change your vacation from going to Catalina Island to going to Cebu Island, for instance, <laughs> it's going to cost a lot more money, even though you paid for it already, right? right? right. But it's the same kind of concept with us. Right. Now, if someone goes from having a cremation, excuse me, sorry about that, from having a um, casketed burial to having a cremation, it depends on how long down the road they have Um, change their mind. If it was relatively soon in the process, mm-hmm. then they don't get the money back, but that money is there to take care of other things, things like flowers, things right. like having a reception. Right. It could go towards airfare. It can go yep. towards death certificates. Mm-hmm. All those other little things or sometimes bigger things that people don't always think about when they're doing their pre-planning. Right, right. Now, um, talking about international reach, um, I know you, you you take care of all these things, whether you forward and everything, right? Yes, that's correct. But uh, uh, um, especially, specifically for the Filipino American community here in Las Vegas, mm-hmm. some of us would like to like, hey, um, is uh, I, I I know this uh, uh, this agent from Palm Artory, and why don't I just deal with them for my parents who are in the Philippines? Do you have some kind of a like sales uh, uh, for uh, well internationally? Can yeah. can we do that too or you so, have partners there interesting question um, yeah. we actually were just talking with a lady this uh, a couple of days ago who owns a cemetery in the Philippines one of my employees mm. he owns a cemetery in the wow. Philippines and so um, we do have some um, partnerships where we can find out what the mm-hmm. costs are for mm-hmm. everything on that end in the Philippines right. what we can pre-plan for here in the United States is to get you to the Philippines right once you get there there would be a separate company involved because we're, we don't operate in the Philippines right. as well and so that separate company would have their own costs and maybe their own ability to have a pre-plan as well and we let you know all that information so that you make an informed decision 
Right. It should be your informed decision, not somebody else's that takes care of you. Right. And this is where expertise and, uh, you know, you've been around for a long time. This is where right. it comes in. You know, Absolutely. you know the business in and out, the in and outs of uh, the business. Yes. And uh, that's why you guys, they can take care of you. Right. Exactly. <laughs> we will. And, and we'll be here for you. You know, there's a lot of companies that offer lower rates than we do. We are not mm -hmm. the least expensive and we don't want to be the least expensive. Mm -hmm. We're also not the most expensive. Mm -hmm. But what we do is we make sure that we are here for you and for your family, not just when you're pre-planning, but all the way until the time of your passing, at the time of your passing, right. and for your family afterwards. We have a 92-year history in this community. Some parts of our company there's op have operated for 150 years. Mm -hmm. We're not going anywhere. Yep. There's always a demand for what we want to do. We're even mm -hmm. listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the SCI symbol. So yep. I encourage people do a pre-plan, buy some stock, and then you're making some money off of your pre-plan as well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you end up saving money by making money. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's uh, well, interesting conversation because, yeah. uh, uh, you know, in, in any day here on the radio station, uh, it's very uh, probably, you know, in my whole 35 years on radio, I've never probably talked to somebody about uh, this kind of topic. And, and you're not unusual. <laughs> Until I started working on in, for this company and doing this, I didn't want to ever talk or think about it. Exactly. I'm sure Manny didn't either. And like yes. you said, you didn't as well. Yeah. But once I, once I kind of found out what it takes and what it entails, and when I can sit across from somebody at the time of need and I they can say to me thank you for mm -hmm. having helped me and to take care of my husband who just passed away now I can just mourn and take care of my kids and take care of the financial things because all of this is already done yep. there's nothing more rewarding than that Wonderful. and so it's a two-way street mm -hmm. we we benefit um, emotionally and of course we are a company in business for profit but the families we serve that's my mission, is right. to make sure they're taken care of. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Uh, is there anything you wanted to add and uh, say to our audience? I think that we uh, took care of all of it. If you need anything at all, you know, we have myself. My name is Adam Zalesny. You can reach me at 702-245-2931. Um, Emmanuel Molion is also on my team, and he can tell you what his phone number is. Yeah, so uh, if you have, uh, you know, if you're interested to know our products and services, you can call me at 702-292-7716. And of course, in the house, 702-487-6545. Yep. How about, um, uh, obviously, this is a great conversation. People are listening to us on podcasts, on iHeartRadio, iTunes, and everywhere else. Spotify, we will be there, too. Uh -huh. And also on Facebook, of course. Yes. But some people would like to reach out to you and attend some of your uh, seminars. I know you have some educational stuff going on. We do. Yep. So uh, can you tell us more about that? Do you have uh, one in the horizon very soon? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, we have one tonight oh. <laughs> at 6 o'clock at El Cazador Restaurant, which is um, on the corner of Lake Mead Boulevard mm -hmm. and Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, excuse me, Lake Mead Boulevard and the, uh, Main Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll be at 6 o'clock this evening. I'm going to actually be presenting all this kind of information right. with a little more in-depth of what we do. We always have sales counselors available, and we have seminars on a regular basis somewhere in this mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. Across the country, if you're listening somewhere outside of Las Vegas, we have local locations under our Dignity Memorial logo that can also answer any of your questions and take care of your pre-needs. You can call any of them, or you can stop by any of our locations. We have five additional locations to our cemetery locations here mm -hmm. at our Cheyenne location, mm -hmm. at our Southwest location. Just put in Palm Cheyenne, Palm Southwest if you're doing a map search or yep. looking on Google right. or on Facebook or wherever. We do have a website and a Facebook page. You can go there to get more information. But just look for myself or you can look for Emmanuel Molion and we mm -hmm. will make sure that you are taken care of. Organizations, Adam. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of organizations uh, uh, here in the Valley and uh, they would probably you know love to have you guys speak to them like uh, you know t can you accommodate some some kind of a 
private uh, presentations with organizations, companies, or or you know church groups or something like that? Absolutely, we can. We do what's called a Your Life, Your Legacy seminar, and we also have wow. a veteran seminar, and we do a cemetery specific seminar. So we have all three options. We can come speak to any private group. We actually bring food in and feed everybody who oh, attends, so you get a free meal out of it. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, and it's a non-sales presentation. It mm-hmm. is solely so that you get information to start. Right. And then if you're interested, we have a, we do have representatives there who will set up a time to come and meet with you one-on-one. Most people's decisions when it comes to this are very private. Mm-hmm. We're not, we don't want to make these decisions with a bunch of other people. Oh, right. We want to yeah. do it with, between ourselves and our spouse and maybe our immediate family. Correct. So we come to your home or you can come to, we can meet at a location. I've met people at a Starbucks or at mm-hmm. a church. And we sit down, we talk through and ask questions about what you want, what's right for you. And then we come up with a plan that makes sense and fits your budget so that, again, you can be prepared by pre-planning. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Adam Zelezny, and uh, he is the uh, sales manager for Palm Mortuary and uh, Funeral Services here in Las Vegas under the uh, uh, organization, under SCI. And tell us again what SCI is. Service Corporation International. And we, you can go on ahead and buy some stocks, too, of SCI. Please do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you and good for us. <laughs> also, Emmanuel Molion, Manny Molion, a uh, sales uh, um, pre-planning. Sales pre-planning. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. With the, uh, with the, uh, with the uh, Palm Mortuary with us uh, today, guys. Thank you so much for, for enlightening us about this topic, and uh, we hope to see you soon in one of your seminars uh, around town. Absolutely. Thank you yes, for inviting you. us in. It's been a real pleasure to get to sit and talk with you, Johan. Thank you again. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Manny. Thank you.